Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, I have this week's weekly grocery haul and my meal plan. I'm going to be showing y'all what dinners I'm going to be having this week and what keto items I grabbed at the grocery store. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. All right, y'all, before we jump into today's grocery haul and meal plan, I have a little unboxing for y'all today. So this is by the company Good Chop. It is a high quality meat and seafood company. They went ahead and sent me this package. This is not sponsored. This is just something that they sent me to go ahead and give a try and show my audience. So if y'all are interested after this video, the website will be linked below for y'all to check out. They have 28 different high quality meats. Everything is grass fed. You can choose between two different plans and it is a monthly subscription. So you get a box just like this full of meats delivered straight to your door. You don't even have to go to the grocery store. You already have some high quality meats delivered straight to you and I cannot wait to dig right in. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this month's box. Go ahead and give it an open. It does come in an ice chest, so everything stays nice and cool. Okay, so first thing I see on top, everything is nice and frozen. We got some boneless pork chops. Look at this. Boneless pork chop, high quality. It has serving size is four per container, and I'm so excited. So this is awesome. We got some boneless pork chops. They have a lot of high quality meats that everybody enjoys every day. So I love me some boneless pork chops. I can make a lot of different meals with this. We also got some grass-fed ground beef. Awesome, y'all know I eat lots of ground beef, so now I have some great grass-fed, 100% grass-fed ground beef right here. And it comes in a little two-pack just like this. Woo, we are set this week for our meats. We also got some beef filet mignon. Yes, I'm so excited for this. I was, oh my God. I love me some steak. They know the way to my heart. So 100% grass fed steak right here. We also got some beef flat iron steak as well. Love it. They got a set. Okay, I see a couple more items in here. We got some beef ribeye steak. They are staking me up. Yes, I love me some beef ribeye steak. And these look awesome. 100% grass fed, no antibiotics or ad added hormones. Born, raised, and harvested in the USA. All vegetarian diet, it says. Awesome. Okay, we got one more thing. Let's see if we got some seafood. This is a big pack of some cod. Look at this. This looks so good. And I know they also do have some salmon and some shrimp. I believe I went to their website. They have lots of other meats that you can choose from if you're not like a big cod person or you don't eat steak. They have pork chops, they have chicken breast, they have all kinds of meats on there that you can choose from. So we got a big old pack of some Pacific Wild Caught Cobb. So awesome, thank you Good Chop for sending me this package. I am definitely gonna dig into these high quality meats this week. Y'all definitely give it a try if y'all would love some great meats delivered straight to y'all's door. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our grocery haul. This week's grocery haul was a little bit smaller. There's a couple of days where I'm not going to be cooking. So starting over here, I went ahead and grabbed some salmon for today and I'm also going to be eating it with some shrimp. They only had colossal shrimps. I guess they're just really big. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of this. One of them is for today and one of them is going to be a recipe for on Saturday. But yeah, I grabbed two, um, there's two fillets in here of salmon, for, one for me, one for Dion. I grabbed one pack of some boneless skinless chicken thighs. And then I grabbed two of these smoked sausage, the Cajun smoked sausage. I grabbed two packs of these. I'm gonna be making some keto gumbo and that's gonna be involving the shrimp and the chicken. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And then I did go to HEB for this because Walmart didn't have this. So I went ahead and went down the street to HEB. I just went ahead and grabbed some arrowroot powder. This is just like a natural thickener as well. Then I grabbed a, a couple of like seasonings. I grabbed some New Mexico chili powder, some rosemary for some filet mignon. I grabbed two packs of cream cheese, the one third less fat. This one's more creamier, I love it. 
Then I went ahead and just picked up these two Keto Bang coffees. I wanted to go ahead and give them a try. They do have new flavors out. They also have a peanut butter one, but I'm not the biggest peanut butter fan. So I went ahead and picked up the Keto Coffee Bang Mocha Madness High Protein Coffee. And then I got the Cookies and Cream Craze. Oh, that sounds so good. Picked up those two. I'm going to go ahead and pop those in the fridge so they can cool off. Um, I got some avocado oil for frying. I got some Mexican vanilla because I ran out of vanilla, so I went ahead and picked this up. I grabbed some smoked paprika, some ground thyme. These are just seasonings that I ran out of. I also ran out of liquid stevia, so I went ahead and picked up two. I keep one here at home, and then I put one from in my purse for on the go, just in case I go to a restaurant and I want some like unsweetened tea. This comes in handy to keep some in your bag. I went ahead and picked up some low carb tortillas. Now these are for my kids' lunches. I like to grab them the snack size, carb counter, la bandera. And then I am going to be making some keto chimichangas this week. So I went ahead and grabbed like their bigger size, the burrito kind. The bigger ones, these are four net carbs each. And then these are three, I, I think for each or for two. Yeah, for each. So they do have bigger ones and they do have smaller ones. Now for regular size, like tacos, I like to use these. But since we're making burritos, I grabbed the big ones. I went ahead and just picked up some fresh peeled garlic. A couple canned items. I got two diced tomatoes with green chilies. So basically, it's Rotel. One can of tomato paste I needed. Some mild banana pepper rings. I just picked up a bag of chopped romaine mix for a side salad for one of my dinners. A couple of cheeses. I got pepper jack, Monterey jack, and an extra sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to be making a cheese sauce for those keto chimichangas. It's going to be so good. Y'all stay tuned for that. These are for my kids, but I just went ahead and got some Kobe and Monterey jack cheese cuts for their lunch. Some pickles as well because we love pickles to snack on. These are just some whole dill pickles. Some strawberries, one of the fruits that you can definitely have on keto, as well as blueberries and raspberries. I picked up some more unsweetened iced coffee, more dairy-free creamer. I've been loving this Nut Pods creamer. This is the French vanilla kind, and it's an almond and coconut creamer. Two things of beef broth, one bunch of asparagus. We have some limes, two jalapenos, and then I picked up one orange bell pepper, yellow, and one green bell pepper. We have some tomatoes right here and just one small thing of heavy whipping cream. And this was all our groceries for this week. Not a very big haul, but we're gonna have some delicious meals this week. All right, let's go ahead and get into this week's menu. Nothing crazy going on. We have some simple meals this week. For today, we are going to be having some salmon and shrimp with broccoli on the side for dinner. Saturday will be keto gumbo. Sundays I do not cook so it's either leftovers or keto to go option but more than likely it's going to be leftovers this week because Monday, Monday is treat yourself day. So if you saw my post yesterday you know that I wanted to start incorporating a cheat day. I'm not calling it a cheat day. We are going to be treating ourselves to some non-keto foods once a month. So y'all stay tuned for that because I definitely will be showing y'all what I'm going to be having on Monday. So I'm very excited about that. Tuesday will be some keto chimichangas. Oh my god, they sound so delicious. Cannot wait for that. Wednesday will be the filet mignon by Good Chop with asparagus on the side and a side salad. Thursday will be stuffed pepper soup. That is going to be a dairy-free recipe that I'm going to be showing y'all. And that is this week's menu. Hopefully this gives y'all some ideas on what y'all can have, some very easy basic meals this week. All right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's grocery haul and meal plan. I will keep y'all updated on Good Chops Meats. I'm going to be giving them a try and see how I'm going to be liking them. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.